What's up everyone? It's Iceman Oz, aka Jay, straight from the kangaroo and inch living room. Here today, I've got my review of the FAMAS. Now first off, let me explain to you why this is probably one of my favourite guns in the game. You're probably thinking, Jay, why is this one of your favourite guns in the game? Well, the thing is, it has the 1000 rounds per minute, which is absolutely crazy. In theory, it actually has the fastest time to kill out of all of the assault rifles. Of course, the recoil patterns is what you have to keep in mind. Uh, the recoil patterns seem to be of a left of 0.35 and the right pull of 0.55 with a vertical recoil of 0.35, um, which is pretty bad. But I, with the attachments that you can put onto this, it can actually balance it out and you'll still have the 1,000 rounds per minute with the same damage output of every other assault rifle with a maximum damage of 25 to a drop-off of 19.4 at long range. The other thing that can be a detriment is the 26 rounds in the clip. Obviously, most other assault rifles have 30, but the thing is, the 1,000 rounds per minute can take down people very quickly. The one thing I will say about the FAMAS, though, is that you must get your shots on target, because if you miss a couple of shots, you will be in trouble. As you see in this gameplay, I seem to be switching fire modes a lot. That's because when you go full auto at long range, this gun is absolutely awful. So you have to switch to the semi-auto and burst fire rounds. This this is why I think this gun is very interesting because when you put it to the single shot rounds it becomes very accurate at medium and long range while you still have the 1000 rounds at close range. So this gun can actually be one of the best guns in the game and I know what you're thinking. It Well, it, the recoil patterns are really bad and it's just awful when I use it but here's why it can be one of the best. The attachments. Now the first attachment you want to put on is a sight that doesn't take too much of the screen and zooms in pretty quickly. I recommend an RDS or a Cobra RDS. The second attachment must be a foregrip. That's the only way you can remove the side to side recoil and really tame this beast. The third is the heavy barrel. When you're aiming down sights, it'll reduce your vertical recoil, and when you put the foregrip and the heavy barrel together, then the recoil will be substantially removed of a, a substantially reduced, should I say, of what it normally would be. So once you put both of them together, this gun is actually very good. There is still a, a lot of recoil, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be a laser like an MP7, but it is still very, very good. Now, if you're looking for a gun with a bit more accuracy, go with the MP7. Keep in mind, a gun like the MP7 has less damage, though, so you still have the power with the FAMAS. Um, and the other thing is that the FAMAS did get actually nerfed uh, quite a while back. It had so much more accuracy with all these positive stats. But to me, this is still actually one of the best assault rifles in the game, and I'm not just saying that. I really enjoy this gun. But this is just my personal preference. You may have a different one. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like this gun, but... For me personally, it suits my play style. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. Do you like this gun? Do you hate this gun? And what gun should I review next? Also, make sure to be following me on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates on gun reviews and all that great stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and peace.